G.I. Joe fans, Joe Motion Videos 82 here, and it's time for another G.I. Joe toy review. And today we are going to be looking at a modern action figure. Um, I really appreciate the comments that I got or that I received from uh, the Action Force um, snowmobile and action figure that um, I, I did a um, short video on. Um, that guy was pretty cool. I actually played with that a little bit longer. Um, it just it reminded me so much of Star Wars and uh, The Empire Strikes Back. I definitely would have included that with uh, my playtime with my Empire Strikes Back figures. And fortunately, I had lived in Ohio during that time when Empire had come out and um, it was snowing when we had seen it, so it was perfect. So I was outside every day pretending that I was out on Hoth, out there as Luke Skywalker, you know, exploring the planet. I even had a jacket very similar, or a coat, I should say, very similar to what um, Luke was wearing. And I put a ball cap on underneath the hood to make it look like the, the hat, the the hat that he was wearing and uh, didn't have a lightsaber so I had a red baseball bat plastic baseball bat that was my lightsaber you know just being a kid and then when the action figures came out that was great I had, oh man those were my favorite action figures of of the entire um, Star Wars line so that action figure definitely would have fit right in with um, the the Star Wars figures that would have been perfect so anyway we are going to be taking a look at the 2008 Tiger Force Duke uh, he was released um, as in the 24th series in the sixth wave of the single packs that were released um, in that said year this is the version the 28th version of duke there are 51 versions of duke at, to the to that point now there are many more after that if you want to um include um oh, the classified line which i um, was looking on Yojo the other day, and they are, they have a, a section where they are starting to um, add classified figures. It's not up and running yet, but it does say, say classified on there. So they are starting to add the classified figures, which I think is fantastic. Uh, so, so they are working on this website. So, gentlemen, thank you very much. If you happen to be watching this, I, I love your website. Um, so, yes, he was a part of the the 24th line of or series 24 uh, <laughs> version <laughs> version 28. All these numbers are confusing me. Um, he was um, made up, he was reused from the entire body of version 23, um, but his lower arms are new. If you want to know all those details, version 23 looked like um, the original version of Duke. He was the same colors with the cac or the, the um, olive drab pants and the tan shirt. Uh, there, the original retail price isn't known, but um, I did buy a few of these modern figures, and I think I had paid around seven ninety nine, six ninety nine, something of that nature uh, for these figures, but um, that's neither here nor there. Um, You know, for what figure that I had purchased. We're talking about Duke. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Yes, he is carded. So um, as I had said in other videos, 
um, I'm, you know, I'm getting older. Uh, nobody in my family is interested in these toys. Uh, so let's just go ahead and open these guys up and see what they're all about. Let's go ahead and play with them and enjoy them. What's the point of keeping them on, on keeping them on cards? And uh, just have fun with them. So let's go ahead and see what this guy is all about. All right, so here he is on the card. I had purchased him a long time ago online. So let's take one last look at him before we open him up. You can see the cross cells of all the action figures that were available and uh, ones that were upcoming. They kind of have them in a shadow there, kind of real secret. But, you know, the ones that were available, they had that really cool snake eyes. You know, there's Major Blood and Roadblock, the Cobra Officer, Baroness, Tiger Force, Flint, Hawk. You can just go ahead and take a, a look at that, get out of the glare of the, the stage light. So all those cool figures, you know, Mutt, Junkyard, those guys would have been cool, cool to have. And then there's a Black Storm Shadow on there. Croc Master. So let's read his file card real quick. Um, it says right here, try to get it in, in frame so you guys could read along with me here. It says um, Tiger Force First Sergeant, codename Duke. File name, Hauser Conrad S. Primary Military Specialty Airborne Infantry. Secondary Military Specialty Small Arms Repair. Uh, that's a little bit different from his um, original Tiger Force file card, if I could remember. Um, serial number, 23455GI89. Uh, his birthplace, St. Louis, Missouri. He's an E6 First Sergeant. Uh, Duke was an influ uh, Duke was f was fluent in French, German, and English when he enlisted. He graduated top of his class at Fort Benning Air um, Airborne School. Of course, he did. Uh, he's the gold boy of GI Joe. He opted for U.S. Army Special Languages School, specialized in in Han Chinese. Um, Southeast Asia dialects. Upon graduation, he served in Army Special Forces Unit in Southeast Asia, where he received the Medal of Honor, of course, two bronze stars, for single-handedly rescuing 34 POWs from a heavily guarded enemy compound. Of course he did. Duke is the golden boy. He could have done that with, with both hands tied behind his back on one leg and freedom with a toothpick as squad leader of the tiger force commandos duke capital letters um, leads this top secret rapid response unit on missions to defuse explosive situations around the world duke was more com has more combat experience than some of those generals in the pentagon He's the kind of grunt you want to have uh, right by your side when the going gets rough. He can assess any hostile situation with lightning speed and act upon it instantly. The man doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. In fact, I don't think he has ever heard of the word at all. Okay, uh, for a man who's rescued all these POWs single-handedly, the Sunbow series, he seemed to get himself captured quite a bit. It's just a running joke with with everybody, with the collectors. But anyway, let's go ahead and free Duke um, from this plastic bubble. Poke a hole in it here. Change out my scalpel blade because it is getting dull. All right, 
Well, I hope you guys all had a great Christmas. You know, that... That, uh, you know... It's been... The weather's finally starting to get cold here. Uh, actually had some rain and hail uh, the other day. Hail was kind of unusual out here. Uh, last time we had hail that I remember was... Um, the day my dad passed away so it's been a while been at least five years so okay plastic bubble gone and the figure tray let's go ahead and set his card back up so yeah weather's nice and cold it's been in the 30s at night we have frost on the why am I peeling that off? I'm going to throw it away. We have frost on our cars. Oh, actually, ice and frost and all that good stuff. So it, it's been, the weather's been great. Been cold, finally. Winter comes for us in January. And it'll start getting warm in February. So... I kind of dread December or after Christmas because I know it'll start getting hot again. So, bye-bye action figure tray. So let's go ahead and take a look at his his weapon here. He has a nice little 45 caliber sidearm right here. Try to get that into focus. Oh, um, there we go. Um, nice detail on that has a little beaver tail here on the end so when you do fire it the hammer doesn't come back and slap you on the hand uh, i had a nine millimeter that did that and after firing you know several magazines worth i would have a nice little bru cut on my hand and it would bruise it hurt after a while so yeah this is a pretty pretty nice replica of the 45 caliber um his figure stand with the embossed gi joe logo and uh it says code name duke uh doesn't say tiger force on it which i wish it had um has a replica of his original backpack they painted the shovel on there or his entrenching tool you have two pouches on there, two more pouches here, and it has his bedroll here. Nice sculpting on it. Uh, you can see the ties around it. And here on the back, it has a different back peg, which, of course, they, they had to upgrade all that for the modern action figures. has his binoculars on the very weird shaped binoculars which i i always found interesting but um here we go uh they they they're staying true to the original design and there's the the dial so you could focus in on them um, staying true to the the design of the vintage figure and his his submachine gun this submachine gun i really like uh, this one is really cool the one they used with stalker as well it's one of my more favorite weapons on the out of the gi joe line pretty cool uh, uh, this is a supposed to be a collapsible stock and his helmet made out of a softer plastic it is painted because the inside of it is gray now taking a look at duke himself his bandolier is removable if you so choose and i'm sure there are a lot of kids that that had these did remove it if it could be taken off they took it off um you have his the bandolier has some pouches hand grenades on it uh, nice this 
kind of bland, but um, nice sculpting on it. Underneath, he has his red shirt, his jump wings, pockets on, on the shirt. And if you try to align his buttons, um, his torso is a little bit crooked if you do to make the torso straight the buttons on his shirt don't align he has a flag on his right arm which on the the modern figure the flag was a sticker um, on the mail away and that got lost easily uh, let's loosen up his legs here the knees are double jointed and his ankles do move and flex and rotate I do love the articulation on these modern figures. Um, the elbows move out and all that. Sometimes the wrists will rotate, but the, the whole forearm rotates on him. Um, Taking a look at his face, if I could get the camera to focus today for some reason. There we go. Camera just does not like to focus right now. Here, there, right up close. Uh, pretty stoic. He's not smiling. What's wrong with you, Duke? Um, his hair seems to blend in with the paint on his face. They at least painted uh, the... Here. They at least painted the whites of his eyes and his pupils. You can see the sculpting on his hair. The back of his head can, is blocked off so that um, his head can move up and down. You can see the green ball joint on his neck. Helmet slides right on. His head's pretty tiny compared to the rest of his body, but you can get to see um, better. You see how, what I'm talking about. If, um, you align the, the buttons, his torso is off a little bit, at least to my eyes. Um, but all in all, he's pretty cool. You know, he has his Tiger Force pants on. Um, his holster will, will hold his 45, his boots, you know, gray. Nice gray boots, and they're laced up pretty pretty nice. Uh, I'll have to tighten that screw to get that gap out of there. But, um, yeah, he's a, a pretty decent figure, all in all. Um, move his bandolier out of the way to snap his backpack into place, which sometimes these are a little bit difficult to put in. But, um, yeah. He looks pretty good. Holding everything up here. Put his binoculars on. Of course, I knock his weapon out of his hand. But um, yeah, I, I like this guy. Um, Duke is always a fan favorite. He, he was in charge all the time in a cartoon. And then later on, Flint kind of took over after um, in 85. But uh, yeah, this is a cool figure. He's pretty decent. Put him on his figure stand here. But yeah, after 85 and, you know, Flint, Lady J came into play, Duke kind of phased out as being a leader and Flint took over, you know, he was a warrant officer. I'm not sure how that falls into play with, in the military ranks, but um, there you go. Alrighty. So let me know what you guys think about this action figure. Uh, you know, looking at him from a distance, 
on the figure stand, he looks pretty nice. And I think they really designed these figure stands uh, for the action figures to be displayed, honestly. Uh, the way the figure stand is designed with the, the embossed logo on there, the name here on the front, uh, just everything about it, it, it says to me, display me. And so they're yeah, really focusing, in my opinion, on the adult collector more than children. And um, that's, I'm sure, the whole idea behind it is uh, adult collectors. And that's what they're focusing on today are us our age group to to purchase these toys we are the demographic that buys them and of course um, you know there are children who do play with them uh, you know the us our our kids we get our, our kids interested in them of course the kids are interested in what the parents are and blah 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 so anyway let's go ahead and get into my favorite segment of Byron's gripes so thank you for all of those who have stayed with me all of this time. I don't know how many of you stick with me through the entire video, but um, the channel statistics show most of you stay with me for the first 10 minutes. So for those of you who stay with me through the whole thing, thank you so very much for that. I really do appreciate it. Um, so I do Byron's Gripes as a means of entertainment and education. I use eBay just for a reference. I don't do it to pick on eBay or the sellers. It is only for a reference point. But I do pick on the prices because some of these people go way out of the stratosphere with the pricing on these things. Uh, I found it helpful when I first got back into collecting when um, I was wondering what a, a good price was on a toy. And I, I would uh, send HCC an a email, say, hey, you know, I'm interested in, in this item. You know, is this a good price? Uh, you know, and he would, you know, graciously answer back, yeah, buy it or no, that's very common. Uh, that price is too uh, too high, you know, look at it, you know, wait for it to come down between such and such price or whatever. So that's why I'm doing this is to help you guys out and also to entertain you as well. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So right off the bat, we have one that is carded $24.99 or better offer. I will put that up with deal of the day. It's, um... I do feel that this is worth $24 uh, easily. Um, uh, here is one that is $30 or better offer. Uh, I would call that high end of normal or high end of what I would pay if I really, really wanted this. Um, but I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, you know, like I said, if I really, really wanted it, I would buy it at that. But that's that's a little steep for me. Here's one twenty-two dollars fifty. Definitely deal of the day. Twenty-four ninety-five. These are all carded, by the way. Twenty-four ninety-five, uh, or better offer deal of the day again. Um, I'm seeing a lot of nineteen eighty-eight Tiger Force Dukes. Um, wow, here's one complete for $30.76 with the file card for a sub-team action figure. Are the prices starting to come down on these? Really? Wow. Maybe Byron's Gripes is starting to get to people. Here's another one, just, I, I'm getting, because this is part of 
Tiger Force. Um, here's another one, Complete, 1988. Complete Tiger Force Duke, $39.99. I would, 1988, mind you, again, sub-team. Um, yeah, $39.99. I would pay that. Um, wow, this is really surprising. The prices are coming down. Okay, let's get back on to the 2008. That's the, that's our primary focus. Here, here's one that is open and complete with the file card, $14.99. Um, going down the list, going down the list, going down the list. Here's one, Bare Bones, 2008. No, he has his helmet, pardon me. Uh, $12.99 or better offer. Um, I wouldn't pay that. $12.99 for this. Um, with just a helmet when I could buy one complete. Or carded even. And no, that's just a bit much. Oh, here's one, 2008 complete um, with file card, $35.99, and it's open. No way, dude. You opened it, $35.99. You're asking way too much. Oh, my gosh. Here is a 1988 carded Tiger Force Duke. Carded, 60 bucks, deal of the day. I'm getting excited about these vintage figures coming down in price. This is, this is fantastic. Okay, here's an incomplete uh, 2008 Duke. Um, looks like he's missing his primary weapon. Um, both weapons, actually. Everything, and his backpack. He just has... His, his stand, helmet, bandolier, and binocular, $16.20. Okay, you could buy his accessories. Uh, that's decent. Uh, okay, going down the list. Here's a carded 2008, $24.99. It seems to be the, the going rate for this dude. Um, here's one, $29.90 for the 2008. Here's another one, Bare Bones 2008 for 25 bucks. I don't think so. Ah, <laughs> okay, here we go. This one's gotten me excited. Here's Bare Bones 2008, or no, 2008 carded. Um, $59.99, I don't think so. Here's another one, um, $59.99. Oh, that's from the same seller. It's a duplicate listing. Never mind. Um, here's one, 1999. Okay, I'll put that up for deal deal of the day. That is um, for the it's he's calling it the 25th anniversary, which I think this one is. Um, here's one, 59.99 for the 2008 version carded. Way too expensive. Thank you very much. Um, here's one uh, that's from Canada, so it's in Canadian dollars, so it's really hard to tell. Um, here's one that's loose. Uh, complete, 39.99. I don't think so. That's that's a bit much. Here's another one complete, loose and complete, twenty one forty nine. Okay, that's that's not bad. I'll put that with deal of the day. Here's one carded, um, two thousand eight, twenty nine ninety nine, twenty seven dollars deal of the day. Uh twenty nine ninety five, twenty nine ninety nine. This is interesting. Let me look at that. What is this one? Canadian variant. Oh, that's um 
for Matt Tracker. Never mind. Uh, here's one thirty nine ninety five, twenty five dollars. Uh, loose and complete twenty four dollars sixty one. Uh, thirty-three dollars and eighteen. Uh, that comes from Australia, and they want eighteen for shipping. That's international shipping, so I could understand that. Forty bucks. I don't think so for carded. Twenty-seven fifty-nine marked down from forty-five ninety-eight. Yeah, I would mark that down too. Thank you. You're not sitting on something very valuable. Um, here's one fifty-nine ninety-eight. Another one. $35 and oh they custom painted it oh but they did do a good job on painting the figure stand red white and blue um, but I, I wouldn't pay that for a custom painted figure stand Fifty nine ninety nine and seventy nine ninety nine for carded. Thank you. No, you guys could keep those. Um, just for the card back on this action figure. Hold on to your pants for this one. Thirty bucks. No, it's not that rare. Okay, guys. So there you go. Byron's gripes is over done deal uh thank you for stay staying uh, sticking with me all this time through all this all this gabbing so uh, i do really appreciate it uh, i do appreciate you guys tuning in for supporting the channel uh, i do really appreciate you guys um so here we are another year with uh joe motion videos 82 um Looking forward to uh, doing another Cobra Convergence with HCC. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. Um, it's already been planned. Uh, you can head over to his Facebook page and um, HCC788 on Facebook. Uh, we're already putting things together. Um, so you could check that out and... Uh, see what's going on there uh but yeah just looking forward to another year of seeing what he has has up his sleeve i don't even know everything that's going on with it so um really excited to to see what's going on so um anyway you guys Thank you. I can't thank you enough for sticking with me all this time, uh, all, through all these years. It's It's been wonderful. I've looked through my backlog when I first started, and of course everybody's stumbling around when they first start out trying to find, find their niche and um, how they want to run their channel and all of that. And I found my comfort zone. And um, I've, I've enjoyed it very much and you guys have made this channel the success that it is. So I, I want to thank you for that. Um, I couldn't have done it without you. Um, so, you know, I, I owe you guys a huge debt of gratitude. Uh, this channel is, it's been a lot of fun doing it. And um, I've also watched my, <laughs> looked at how thin I was when I first started doing this. My goodness, how thin what I was. Um, I mean, I didn't even have, you know, first start, I didn't even have the room decorated. I had everything in boxes. Um, I slowly started decorating the room because I wasn't sure how I wanted the backdrop to look. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, I put on a lot of weight and got gray hair. <laughs> but I'm starting to lose the weight now. But uh, thank you guys. Anyway, you guys take care. 
stay safe out there. Remember, we're getting into flu season, uh, flu, cold, RSV, COVID, all that good stuff. It's all here to stay. Um, so remember, wash your hands. That's your first line of defense. Um, so stay safe out there, please. Uh, take good care of yourselves. Remember, be kind to everybody. You never know what kind of day somebody's having, and especially be kind to your animals. They know nothing but unconditional love. And this is Joe Motion Videos 82. I'm signing off. You guys have a wonderful day. Uh, Vampire has something special that he has planned for tonight. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, Vampire, that guy. He's something else. That's why I went, ugh. He is something else. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he has. So take care. We'll see you later.